culture is one of the things that reaches people. And our belief at the Institute for Policy Studies is that social change happens by social movements, not by people in Washington. They get dragged kicking and screaming into making the changes that are needed. They don't lead, we lead. Mm. People lead, movements lead. And movements need excitement, they need culture, they need music, they need poetry, they need film, they need artwork. And that's what we've tried to be part of. So to go back to that question of asserting humanity and existence and belonging, um, any evidence that it's working, poetry or argument, to change minds? Not maybe to, to bring new people in, yeah? Absolutely. But to actually change minds, is it penetrating? I mean, I guess I'm a little bit different because, right, I'm an activist and a poet, so I talk about BDS and the right of return in my poetry. Um, I do think it can make a change. It's like I'm part of, I mean, I help out with the U.S. campaign for the academic and cultural boycott of Israel. I think that it, it's impossible for me to separate my politics, which I just see as freedom, justice, and equality, from my actual poetry. But sure, I mean, I've done, I've done shows for church groups, um, for Jewish groups, for, I mean, obviously, Palestinian groups and Muslim groups over the years. And I do think that there's a different tone, and it's really starting to click with people. And I think that art is a great way to, to show a strong voice and to show strong Palestinian voices and really be part of the community and drive things forward. I think that art historically, whether it was the Vietnam War or um, you know during apartheid or the segregation era, I think that art has always played an important factor. So